Whoops, wrong devotion. I already read that one. Back for more. I got a not so busy. Well, I do kind of have a busy morning because I've got I've got scheduled hair appointments, so I've got to feed the girls after I get my morning devotions done, and then hop in the shower, and then head on the road. And I'll give myself at least an hour to get there. And we've got the storm brewing, so I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be like. But I'll be driving with the top up, that's for sure. Because <laughs> it's brewing and they're all swirling. <laughs> it's not hurricane season, so I just know it's a cold front that came in. So nah, I'm not worried about anything. No need to. I'm on his dime. So take these off. I don't need them. Looking at the positive. Boy, have I tried to engrave that in everybody's head. And then when any time of any kind of bloop of negativity, I just I just think to myself, or even say it out loud off with your heads, especially if it's something that just comes in with a vengeance, and I'm like, nope, off with your heads. Much easier to deal with, I think. So looking at the positive is always a good, good way. And something I discovered last night, I've always been a rocker, forward and back. It creates positive energy. But last night... I was wound up. Even though I kept yawning, my my energy was so high that I couldn't call. I just couldn't. Was not bring it down. I was listening to Christian music. I'd watched a movie. I, I it just wasn't wearing me out. And I thought, what in the heck am I gonna do? So I thought, well, let's see if I can create some negative energy. So I started going back and forth like this. I couldn't believe how fast my body came back down. It was the craziest thing ever. So. You have to try it sometime if you are um, somebody that's high energy like I am. Man, that is weird what's going on in my head today. Something's going on up there. That's all I know. Doesn't hurt what's going on right now. But there, it's like it's moving. <laughs> it's got thoughts going on. I'm stimulated like crazy, that's for sure. Some people make... Cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Amen. Proverbs twelve eighteen. You, if you heard my conversations with Jesus and God, you would just, you might go, she's freaking crazy. Well, we all know I'm not. So, anyhow, it's just, it's just kind of fun when you think about the things that you talk to him about, and I'm more free about just open and just talking about things. So. One of the most powerful things we can do to enhance the seasons of our marriage is to choose a winning attitude. How do we do this? First, we must admit our negative thinking. As long as you think negatively, negatively, you'll never be able to choose a winning attitude. Exactly. You know, why is it when you set your heart on something, people feel the need to poke holes in it, not support you, so, I mean, I'm getting to the point now that I'm like, okay, before I tell you what I'm about to do, I want you to understand I'm not looking for disapproval from you. I'm looking for a cheerleader out of you. So, with that in mind, now I'm going to tell you the story. And that is exactly how something I'm about to embark on is needs to be told. <laughs> Just so you know. Because I can already hear it. I already hear it. But when Natalie puts her mind to something, Natalie accomplishes it. As if anybody doesn't know that about Natalie, that is the one thing. Well, but there's multiple things that everybody knows about Natalie. Transparent, heart of gold, give my heart to everybody. We'll help anybody. Give them a sherbet off my back. You need that more than I do. Here, take it. Truly. That's what he wants us all to be like. The second step is to identify your spouse's positive characteristics, even if that's difficult for you. You might even get help from your children by asking, what are some of the good things about daddy or mommy? Third, once you've identified those positive characteristics, thank God for them. Then fourth, begin to express verbal appreciation to your spouse for the positive things you observe. Set a goal, such as giving one compliment a week for a month. Then move toward two, week, two per week then three, and so on, until you're giving a compliment each day. The book of Proverbs has a lot to say about the importance of words. Proverbs 18.21 says, The tongue has the power of life and death. 
Proverbs 12, verse 18 talks about words bringing healing. Proverbs 15, verse 4 calls gentle words a tree of life. You can give your marriage new life when you replace condemnation and criticism with compliments and words of affirmation. Amen. And, and be honest. You need to do more of this effectively rather than this and being deceitful. That's what a lot of people do. Lord God, thank you for all the wonderful things about my spouse. Please keep the one that you know I have. <laughs> He's make-believe right now. <laughs> He's but a, a, a thought. <laughs> Please keep the, those fresh in my mind. Help me to use my words to acknowledge those things. May what I say heal and bring life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I hope you enjoyed my video. Stay tuned. I got one more coming up.